what everybody knows as a yucca. And we think of this as a, as a southwestern desert plant, but actually there are three species of yucca native from Florida all the way up to New York, just like yellow root. And they're, they're, they're the smaller leaf variety, but they're all called bear grass because you make rope out of it to tie your meat up in the smokehouse. And these make excellent um, cordage. You can use it even green, but if you take it and do what they call rotting or redding it down, you take it, put a bunch of these in some water, let it sit for a few days, and all it'll start to rot, but the fibers will be left. And then you can just take them out and make fishing lines, traps, and there's just, it's amazing what they can do. But you can take these, take your knife, just this one, well, <coughs> and you can actually scrape away the out if you want to do it that way, and you start to. You can see the, the fibers you can start, especially if you write down that you can come out with. But if you take these, you can easily just make some field expedient cordage out of it. Just leg roll a little bit, get a twist started in it. It'll fold on itself. And then you just do a reverse wrap. You make quick cordage that is strong enough where you can actually make what's called a vegetable bowstring as opposed to a <laughs> rawhide bowstring and it will not you won't break it that's just not even corded up here and I'll break it at a weak point but where it's corded you, you'll tear your hand up before you break it the the leaves on this as well as the roots better but the leaves will do this too is if you crush them take the tip off by the way it'll poke you if you uh, crush the leaves up in water it'll make a mild a little bit of sudsiness to it. That's a real good antiseptic soap to wash with for healing wounds and cuts and scrapes. The root is a powerful anti-inflammatory. In fact, if you look at um, some of the first herb companies that really got started in the 70s, that like the chains like Nature Sunshine stuff, that was one of the first herbs they put up was, was the root of this as a arthritis herb. The fruit on this, <clears throat> depending on which variety you eat, has a pulp in it that's sort of sweet you can eat, and then the flowers if you take the green part at the base off, because it's bitter, the rest you can throw it in a salad, and it's real good to eat. Then with the stem, when it comes up to flower stalk, when it comes up and it dries, I use it for hand drill fire making, and in about eight this seconds you can have a cold. starting to dry. Yeah, you can see this one right here. This, if you use it big enough, you can actually use it for the fireboard base, too. It has, you'd have to straighten this one out, but when it dries, cut the top, cut the bottom, in about ten seconds you can have a cold with it. Mm.